Hey guys, so right now there's a lot of talk going on around YouTube about how um, the YouTube community and the trans community in general, not necessarily, sorry, not the YouTube community, but the trans community on YouTube, is putting out this stipulation of what you need to be doing or who you need to be in order to be trans. And it needs to stop. I mean, everybody, trans is not one specific terminology. It's not, you know, if you're female to male, and it doesn't mean that you're going 100% from female to 100% from male in all surgeries and all chemicals and all that kind of stuff. It's an umbrella term, and what that means is there's so much under that term that you can't even put on a label to somebody saying they're not trans because, you know, they don't fit under your little box of what trans is supposed to be. Um, for me, the most common thing that I get for people saying that I'm not trans or that I'm never going to be a man is because I don't want bottom surgery. Bottom surgery for me and having a penis constructed does not make me what make me a man. Um, I have no desire to get it. Um, it doesn't matter. You know, society can't tell. And really, like, if I'm going to, if I find somebody and fall in some love with somebody and they need me to have a penis, then obviously they don't love me for who I am. And so I have no desire to. I have no desire to go through that amount of pain, that big of a surgery, just to please a select few of people that have stuck me in a box. Um, I have had chest surgery, but again, I don't think I would have gotten chest surgery. Um, yes, I was heavy chested, but with a binder on, you couldn't tell that I you know, was heavy chested, and if it wasn't f for society and, you know, when I was transitioning, for people being like, yeah, you have to have transition, like, you have to have chest surgery because it's not going to, people are not going to, um, take you seriously, you're not going to be considered a man if you don't get it, I might not have gotten it, um, I'm very happy without it, um, but in the same breath, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Testosterone for me, I would have taken, um, full-heartedly. But, you know, there are times that I go four, five, six weeks without taking my shot. Um, for me, I seem to only need my shot when, like, if I'm really upset or if I'm really emotional or, like, you know, if I'm crying about the stupidest things possible, then I'll t start taking my shot. And then when I, you know, quote-unquote man up a bit, you know, I, I stop taking it. Um, for me, the shot makes me extremely hungry all the time and I don't want to be eating all the time so like I only take my shot when I feel it's necessary for me I don't take it every two weeks like I'm supposed to half the time um, and I'm happy with that like you know I'm happy with you know my voice dropped enough that you know when I'm on the phone or when people meet me um, my voice doesn't give me away and that's kinda cool but like for people that are out there and you know who are just starting their transition and you're going on YouTube and you're you know, typing in ways to transition or how to transition or how to go about transitioning, you're going to get a lot of videos that say you have to go on T, you have to have chest surgery, you have to have bottom surgery, you have to pack, you have to bind, you have to buy one of those stand and pee devices because, you know, men don't sit down in the bathroom to pee. Um, don't listen to them. I don't pack. Um, I don't have a stand and pee. <laughs> like... I don't even have a sexual prosthetic, like I have a sexual prosthetic, but I, I use it maybe once out of every 14 times me and my partner have sex. Like, you don't have to have all these things to be trans. You don't have to be on T to be trans. Um, you know, this project that I'm making this video for is done by Chase, who's from um, FDM, or, yeah, FDM, Trans FDM Transtastic, and he, go watch his videos about, like, go watch his video about not being trans enough and he's just amazing like he gets a lot of flack and I get a lot of flack for the stuff I say about you know stuff I don't want to do but we are true to who we are and this isn't any shot against anybody else but listen to us because this is not the way it has to be you don't have to do what everything everybody's saying you have to do you do what you want to do and what makes you feel happy and comfortable with who you are. Um, being trans is how we feel up here, not how we feel in, from what the world has told us and from who we're supposed to be. Um, so yeah, guys, like I said, <laughs> listen to your heart. Listen to the people that are making videos for this project. 
um, because of what we're saying is what what it is. Be who you want to be. Don't let anybody be who. Um, don't let anybody tell you not to be who you want to be. Don't believe them if they say you're not trans because you post being like, mm, I don't think I'm gonna get chest surgery. You know, if you don't want chest surgery, don't do it. If you don't want to be on T, don't do it. If you don't want to bind, don't do it. If you don't want to pack, don't do it. If you identify as a man and decide you want to wear a skirt one day, go ahead and do it. All the more power to you. Anyways, guys, take care, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys all later.